and welcome to our video on how to start silk farming. Silkworm farming, also known as sericulture, is the practice of rearing silkworms to produce silk. It has been practiced for over 5,000 years and is considered to be one of the oldest industries in the world. Silkworm farming is an excellent way to produce silk and it can also be a profitable business. In this video, we will explore the steps involved in starting a silkworm farming business. Step 1. Research and Planning Before starting any business, it is essential to research and plan. The first step in starting a silkworm farming business is to research the industry thoroughly. You should learn about the silkworm life cycle, the different varieties of silkworms, the types of silk they produce, and the requirements for rearing silkworms. You need to consider the following factors. Location, silkworms require a warm and humid climate. Therefore, you should choose a location that has a tropical or subtropical climate. Space, you will need space to build a silkworm house and a mulberry garden. The silkworm house should have proper ventilation, insulation, and temperature control. Capital, starting a silkworm farming business requires small amount of investment. You will need to purchase silkworm eggs, mulberry plants or leaves, and rearing mesh. Don't miss the end to know how to wear to market silkworm cocoons to best price. Stay tuned! Step 2. Building a Silkworm House The next step in starting a silkworm farming business is to build a silkworm house. The silkworm house should be a closed structure with proper ventilation, insulation, and temperature control. You can build the silkworm house using wood or bamboo. The roof should be made of tiles or asbestos sheets to protect the silkworms from rain. The silkworm house should have several rooms, including the egg-laying room, the hatching room, the feeding room, and the spinning room. Each room should have its own temperature and humidity control system. The egg-laying room should be maintained at a temperature of 25 to 27 degrees Celsius and a humidity of 80 to 85 percent. The hatching room should be maintained at a temperature of 22 to 24 degrees Celsius and a humidity of 80 to 85 percent. The feeding room should be maintained at a temperature of 26 to 28 degrees Celsius and a humidity of 75 to 80 percent. The spinning room should be maintained at a temperature of 22 to 24 degrees Celsius and a humidity of 60 to 65 percent. Step 3. Sanitization. Sanitization is crucial in silkworm farming as it helps to maintain a clean and healthy environment for the silkworms. Silkworms are susceptible to bacterial and fungal infections, and unclean conditions can lead to the spread of diseases, which can affect the growth and development of the silkworms and reduce the quality of silk produced. To start a silkworm farming operation, it is essential to ensure that the rearing room, equipment, and hands are sanitized to prevent the transmission of harmful pathogens to the silkworms, and ensuring that hands are washed and sanitized before handling the silkworms. Tips, vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, bleach and soap and water, this type of low-cost sanitization products can be used. Step 4. Building a Mulberry Garden Silkworms feed on mulberry leaves. Therefore, you need to build a mulberry garden to feed your silkworms. The mulberry garden should be located near the silkworm house, and it should be large enough to supply enough leaves for your silkworms. You can start a mulberry garden by planting mulberry cuttings or seeds. You should choose the variety of mulberry that is suitable for silkworms. The mulberry trees should be pruned regularly to promote new growth and ensure a constant supply of fresh leaves. Tips If you have more land available for growing mulberry, consider implementing a crop rotation system where you plant mulberry in different areas of your garden each year. This way, after harvesting from one part of your mulberry garden, you can move on to the next rotation garden for the following harvest. Step 5. Purchasing Silkworm Eggs Silkworm eggs are the starting point for any silkworm farming business. You can purchase silkworm eggs from a reputable silkworm breeder. The eggs should be healthy and free from diseases. It is always recommended to check with your government sericulture department for egg supplies. 
Other sources can online retailers or silkworm breeders. You should choose the type of silkworm that is suitable for your location and climate. There are several varieties of silkworms, such as the Chinese, Japanese, and European silk. Step 6. Rearing Silkworms Once you have purchased silkworm eggs, you can start rearing the silkworms. The eggs should be placed in the egg-laying room, where they will hatch into larvae after about 10 to 14 days. The larvae will then be transferred to the feeding room, where they will be fed mulberry leaves. You should ensure that the leaves are fresh and clean, as silkworms are very sensitive to contaminants. The silkworms will molt several times, and each time they molt, they will require fresh leaves. After about four to six weeks, the silkworms will be ready to spin cocoons. The spinning room should be maintained at a temperature of 22 to 24 degrees Celsius and a humidity of 60 to 65 percent. The silkworms will spin cocoons for about two to three days, after which they will pupate inside the cocoons. Step 7. Harvesting Silk After about two to three weeks, the pupae will emerge as adult moths, breaking through their cocoons. However, if you want to harvest the silk, you will need to kill the pupae before they break through the cocoon. This is usually done by placing the cocoons in a hot oven or boiling them in water. Once the pupae are killed, you can harvest the silk by unwinding the cocoons. The silk can then be processed into fabric or other products. Step 8. Marketing your products. Finally, you need to market your silk products. You can sell your silk products directly to consumers or through retailers. You can also sell your silk products online through e-commerce platforms. Also you can check with craft stores and silk factories directly to get a good price. It is important to price your silk products competitively and to promote their unique qualities, such as their softness and durability. You should also consider offering customized or personalized silk products, as this can help to differentiate your business from competitors. Conclusion Silkworm farming can be a profitable business, but it requires careful planning and attention to detail. By following these steps, you can start your own silkworm farming business and produce high-quality silk products. Remember to research the industry thoroughly, build a silkworm house and mulberry garden, purchase healthy silkworm eggs, rear the silkworms carefully, harvest the silk, and market your products effectively.